everyone this is your kalpana here so in this video we are going to see a problem from mensuration of grade 10 okay before going to the problem let's see what is right circular cylinder okay so we can consider it as a cylinder okay cylinder is a cylinder which has curved surface so this surface is actually curved right so this is a curved surface okay if this is a cylinder then we have circle base so this is a base and this is the top of the cylinder which is also a circle okay circle at the bottom and at the top okay this is all what you have to remember and this is the height height of the box now coming to the definition of right circular cylinder if the axis is perpendicular to the circular base so this is a circular base if an axis is exactly perpendicular to this circular base then the cylinder is called right circular cylinder so this is a right circular cylinder okay whose axis is exactly perpendicular to the circular base okay for example so you can consider this okay so here the spoon you can consider the spoon as a axis spoon as axis i'll show you a spoon axis which is perpendicular to the circular base the spoon is perpendicular to the circular base okay so we have seen a right circular cylinder now coming to the problem a solid right circular cylinder has radius 7 cm and height 20 cm so we are given a solid right circular cylinder solid means it is of three dimension okay will contain it will contain something inside the cylinder okay it won't be hollow okay a right circular cylinder so this is a right circular cylinder has radius 7 cm 7 cm so here also you can find the radius right 7 cm right and height and height height h equals to 20 cm okay so here we have to find curved surface area so we have to find the curved surface area only curved surface area and total surface area so in the total surface area you will get curved surface area plus base and the top okay so let's see solution given 
radius r equals to 7 centimeters and height h equals to 20 centimeters of a solid right circular cylinder. Okay, so here we have to find first one curved surface area. So we need to find the curved surface area. So how we can find? We have to find the shaded region of the cylinder, right? So this is a curved surface area. Okay. If we consider a bangle, if you arrange those bangles, one above the another. Okay. The bangle is a circle. Right? So the circumference of the circle is, we know that, circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. Right? So here you will get one bangle, another bangle, third bangle, fourth bangle, like that. Up to this height h you will be, you'll be having some arrangement of bangles one above the other. Okay. So, you are having 2 pi r. Okay. You need to find the total surface area of this height. So, into h will be the Curved surface area formula. Okay. See? This is a circle, right? Circumference of a circle. If you arrange some set of bangles one above the other, then it forms a cylinder of height some four bangles okay or one centimeter so here circumference of a circle plus circumference of a circle plus circumference of a circle plus circumference of a circle so totally you're having four circumference of a circle so the curved surface area of this cylinder will be two by r Plus 2 pi r, plus 2 pi r, plus 2 pi r. Totally 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times 2 pi r. So here h is r, 4. h into 2 pi r. Which is equal to h into 2 pi r. Likewise, we are given a solid right circular cylinder of height 20 centimeter then the curved surface area will be circumference circumference of the circle into height okay this is the example you can remember easily okay so let's find curved surface area of the given problem. Okay. So, here we have radius equals to 7 and h equals to 20 meters. 20 centimeters, sorry. The curved surface area of a right circular cylinder is given by 2 pi r into h. Okay? 
since we have r equals to 7 centimeters and h equals to 20 centimeters so we can replace r and h c s a equals to 2 pi r into h so which is equals to 2 into pi can be taken as 22 by 7 22 by 7 into r 7 centimeters into h 20 okay so we have forgot to write the units since this area, so you will get square units. Okay. So we are given in centimeters. So you will get square centimeters. So this equals to 7. 7 gets cancelled. 2's 4 44 into 20 square centimeters. So this equals to 44 into 20. 0, 0, 4 2's are 8. So finally, curved surface area of a right circular cylinder is 880 square centimeters. Therefore, the curved surface area of the solid right circular cylinder. They have mentioned solid right circular cylinder, right? So, we have to consider it as a solid right circular cylinder is 880 square centimeters okay so next we'll find total surface area total surface area t s a Okay, so the total surface area in the sense, the total surface of this box, curved surface, base and top. So curved surface will be 2 pi r into h plus base. This is a circle, right? So we know that area of a circle is pi r square plus again pi r square simple so this is equals to 2 pi r h plus pi r square plus pi r square is 2 pi r square so you can take 2 pi r common from these two so if you take 2 pi r common you'll get h plus 1r. So, total surface area of the cylinder or we have given solid right circular cylinder is 2 pi r into h plus r. Okay, whether it is, uh, either it is a solid or hollow right circular cylinder, it doesn't matter. The surface will be same. The total surface area is given by two pi r into h plus r. Since it is area, so we'll have square units. Okay, fine. So, we are having R equals to 7 centimeters and H equals to 20 centimeters. Let's substitute it. So, you will get T S A equals to 2 into 
22 by 7 into R is 7 into H 20 plus R 7 square centimeters. Okay, you are having R in centimeters and H also in centimeters. No need to change the units. So, we will keep it in centimeter itself. So, this equals to 7, 7 gets cancelled. 2 into 22, 44 into 20 plus 7, 27. So, 44 into 27 is 7 post 28, 7 post 28, 28 plus 2, 30, into 2 post 8, 2 post 8, 8, 8, 8 plus 3, 11. So, this is equal to 1,188 square centimeters. Okay? Therefore, the total surface of the total surface area of the given solid right circular cylinder is One thousand one hundred and eighty-eight square centimeters. Okay, so this completes the problem. All you need to know is formula. So don't by heart the formula. Just remember. Okay, just use the figure and find it out. So this is a curved surface. If you want to find curved surface area, then you will find the area that is circle into height, circumference of circle into height. If you want to find the total surface area, then you will consider the curved surface area and the upper part and the bottom one. Okay. So, this is a circle and this is also a circle. So, from this you will get. 2 pi r square and this will be the curved surface will be 2 pi r into h. Okay. This is really very very simple to find the formulas to know what is there in the cylinder. Okay. So this completes the problem. So we have seen how to find um, curved surface area and total surface area of a Solid right circular cylinder. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.